Have you ever heard the term second to second gameplay? It's the way that game designers think about the player experience and how players engage with the game. And it's partnered with terms minute to minute and hour to hour. But what does it mean? Well, second to second describes the immediate experience of playing a game. If you randomly pick to stream a channel, what they are doing right now is second to second gameplay. In Call of Duty, it's aiming and shooting and taking cover and deciding where to move next. In Spider-Man, it's traversing at speed through the city, or it's the combat, punching and parrying. In Mario, it's jumping on enemies and platforms and walls. And in Gran Turismo, it's uh, accelerating, finding the racing line, deciding when to overtake. This is gaming in the moment from one second to the next. But just driving or just fighting or just jumping quickly becomes boring. It's a little bit like skipping or kicking a ball against the wall. This is where minute to minute gameplay comes in. If you switch on a streamer channel now and then come back in three or four minutes time, what's changed? In Call of Duty, they're in a new encounter or they've started a new match in Spider-Man. They have completed a mission in Mario. They've moved from one level to the next. In Gran Turismo, they've completed a race and collected their uh, money and might be spending that. This game structure gives players objectives and goals from one minute to the next and it stops the second to second gameplay from becoming boring. Which brings us to the hour to hour because even with minute to minute gameplay that can also wear thin. There's only so many times you can do a race or the same type of level against the same type of enemies. So what changes from one hour to the next? What is the thing that is pulling the player forward? Single player Call of Duty introduces new locations and new weapons and upgrades and tells more parts of the story. Similarly, Spider-Man, the story is being unveiled across multiple hours of play. Mario is introducing us to new abilities and new locations and Gran Turismo, we're unlocking new cars and new tracks. So as game designers, we have to consider all three. If we had to prioritize, we would prioritize second to second because if the immediate gameplay isn't interesting, it doesn't matter what you've got to do in the long term. But neglect any of these three and the game will feel weak. As always, there are exceptions. Egg Inc, for example, has pretty boring second to second gameplay. It's all in the minute to minute and hour to hour. But in general, a great game covers all three. Like many game development philosophies, this can also apply to our personal lives. Enjoy the moment to moment, but don't neglect the medium and long-term goals.